In this video, you're going to learn how to use the Select by Location tool in ArcGIS Pro to create selection sets from a layer based on some type of spatial relationship. What we're going to do in this particular example is we're going to select uh, city parcels and uh, from spatial relationships that are derived from this rivers and streams layer. So the city parcel layer is going to be the, the focus of the creation of the selection set. So the first thing we want to do here is to go to the, the contents pane and go to the the list by selection button, click on that. And what we want to do here is to define our selectable layer, which in this case will be city parcels. So I'm going to turn off everything but city parcels. So city parcels is going to be my only selectable layer uh, in this sentence. For there, I'm going to go to the map tab and find the select by location tool, which is in the selection group. Click on select by location. That'll bring up the select by location geoprocessing tool. Uh, my input feature here, again, is going to be city parcels, but of course you can select any layer uh, that's part of the uh, the active map. Uh, and you can also select multiple layers. So if you want to create selection sets across multiple layers uh, from your map, that can be done as well. We're going to keep things fairly simple here and just focus in on that city parcel layer. Uh, and for this particular example, we're going to find all city parcels that intersect a river or a stream. And you can see just by looking at the map, you can see your city parcels. Here's the rivers and the streams layer in blue. And so what we want to do initially here is just to select all city parcels that intersect rivers and streams. And by intersect, which is the default spatial relationship, as you can see here, an intersect simply means any feature that uh, is either completely within the selecting features or that touches the selecting features. So in this case, any parcel that touches uh, the river and stream will become part of the selection set. So it can be, you know, for, if there's a river and stream that's running through the parcel or touching the edge of the parcel, both of those will become part of the selection set. So it's pretty straightforward here. So select city parcels that intersect rivers and streams. I'm not going to enter a search distance here. We'll do that uh, in just a few minutes, but you can enter a, a distance here as well if you, if you need to do so. The default is to create a new selection. Uh, there are other options here as well, including things like add to the current selection set. So you'd use that if you already have a selection set and want to add to that selection set. You can also remove from the selection set, uh, select a subset, or switch the current selection set. In this case, we're just going to create a new selection. Uh, so I'll go ahead and hit apply at this point, and it will run the select by location tool. It takes a little bit of time to run here, so I'll give it a few seconds here, and then you can see the result. So, um, so what we've done here is to select any city parcels that intersect a river or stream. Uh, now, of course, you can do other things as well, right? as far as your relationships. In this case, we're doing an intersect, but there are many other types of spatial relationships you can test for. Uh, you can do distance testing, containment testing, within testing, identical twos, boundary touches, shares line segments, cross by outline. So there are a lot of different spatial relationships that you can introduce here. Um, and just to kind of show you how distance works, right? Well, let's say that we want to change our selection set to be any city parcels that intersect rivers and streams. Uh, and then we'll add a distance component here of 100 feet. So what we're doing here is basically adding a buffer to the river and stream layer, and then any city parcels that fall within that buffer become part of the selection set. So when you're adding a distance, it just basically buffers um, your selecting features, which in this case is rivers and streams. It will effectively add a 100-foot buffer around each side of rivers and streams and then select any parcels that intersect that buffer. Uh, so from here, we just simply select Apply, and then go through the same process. Now we'll have a you know considerably larger selection set at this point. Before we had 2,052 features, complex query here, uh, and now we have 4,644 selected features. So we've added a distance component there to find any parcels that either intersect the rivers and streams or that are within 100 feet of a river or stream. All right, so that's all I need to show you for this time. I appreciate you joining me. Talk to you again soon.